G'day, I'm Darrell Anderson. You know, these heifers are among Australia's most highly rated dairy cattle. They're drawn from some of our best Holstein studs. But in a little over two weeks, they'll be joining the herd of one of the world's most sophisticated dairies, not here in Australia, but in Saudi Arabia. Australia exports livestock all the time, mostly to countries with a need for fresh meat in their diets, but without the means to produce it themselves. But these girls are not that kind of cow. Far from becoming part of the food chain themselves, they have a long future ahead of them, supplying the Saudi population with vital milk and dairy products. These cattle are going to a very large dairy in Saudi Arabia. Um, the company there milks uh, 25,000 cows. Their uh, aim is to move up to 50,000 cows in milk um, and progressively they're um, building new facilities and stocking them with Australian cattle. This is the third group of stud Holstein heifers Australian exporter Elders International has sent to the same Saudi dairy. Careful selection ensures they're the cream of the crop from very respectable family lines. It took eight months just to get the group together. And the selectors have looked through every pedigree and every um, dam and grand dam production data looking for uh, genetically elite cattle. After thorough testing for disease, they've come here for a period of quarantine in Portland, Victoria. There's been more disease testing, treatments and vaccinations and regular examinations, culminating in final checks prior to loading. And today, they're ready to begin their journey. Transporting large shipments of cattle safely thousands of kilometres across the ocean takes care and expertise. The Australian Livestock Export Industries Animal Welfare Standards and Protocols are acknowledged as the world's best, providing an unrivalled level of care before, during and after the journey. We're very used to doing it um, and they cope well. They do need extra care and special care, um, and if you give that care, the results are really good. As with all livestock shipments to the Middle East, a qualified Australian vet accompanies the cattle on the voyage. The vet is assisted by a crew of experienced stockmen to ensure the cargo sets foot on Saudi soil in top condition. The, the cattle are looked after really well on board. We expect them to put on a considerable amount of weight on the trip. They've always got access to feed and water um, and, uh, and we put fresh bedding down quite regularly. Uh, the bedding's primarily to give them softer footing and, and uh, uh, something softer to lay down on. Yeah, so they've got plenty of room to lay down as much as they like. Once they're established on board, uh, there's really very few occasions where uh, injuries will result. J just as on farm, uh, you know, you do see uh, injuries and illness from time to time. So um, once the animal is identified as needing treatment or, um, or more attention, they'll be uh, drafted out of the pen that they're in, brought up to a hospital pen, and we'll have a pretty close look at them. Quite often we can treat them in the hospital pen, and usually they'll stay there for the duration of the voyage. And then once we arrive in port, we'll uh, supervise the, um, all the equipment on port, make sure that uh, it's all safe and not likely to cause injury to the animals, and, um, and we'll proceed unloading from there. And the job doesn't end there. Another Australian vet will spend the first month at the dairy with the cattle, helping them settle into their new home. That's, that's probably the, the period where they need a bit of adjustment, although they, they, seem to, they seem to adjust remarkably well. They get a lot of care for, the, for that 30 days. We monitor their feeding, we uh, offer assistance with formulating rations, uh, we uh, treat any animals that require treatment. The result of Australia's world-leading animal export practices is an extraordinarily high level of safety for the livestock. Of the record 860,000 live cattle exported from Australia in 2008, 99.9% .9 arrived at their destination fit and healthy. Um, there's uh, very good regulation of uh, livestock export in Australia. You know, the livestock export industry certainly um, are doing an excellent job 
animal health goes hand in hand with um, you know, um, a better economic outcome for all involved. Australia has a highly productive dairy industry, thanks in large part to the quality of its particularly Holstein dairy cattle. So it was only natural that when Saudi Arabia was seeking to establish its own dairy industry, this should be one place it looks to source its herd. We've got a squeaky clean disease status that gives us entree to Saudi and pretty much everywhere in the world. Um, but secondly, our cattle have performed really well in their environment. This is the third shipment of cattle uh, to this company uh, and the previous two have done extremely well. Australia constantly ships live cattle, sheep and goats safely to overseas markets, so in that sense nothing unusual has happened here today. But that doesn't make this shipment any less special. It's the biggest shipment of registered cattle ever to leave um, Australian shores. They'll have a, uh, a smooth and uneventful voyage between here and uh, Saudi Arabia. They'll carve there and they'll, they'll live out a, a long and productive life uh, as milk producers. It's very satisfying to get to this stage. Um, Australia produces great dairy cattle. I'm very proud of the shipment and uh, uh, it, it's a good feel to, to see them on the water.